Welcome to this week's Reflection. Again, I'm delighted to be able to share this time with you. It may be just me, but I feel the flowers and blossoms of spring have been looking particularly good this year. The colours are rich and they are just lovely. The flowers are big and beautiful. We have a rose bush that is flowering for the first time since we moved into this house eight years ago. Maybe the fact that the tree over the rose bush has been cut back has helped a lot. And I've also wondered if the frequent rain has had something to do with making this a good spring season. Now, I'm not a gardener, but I appreciate a lovely garden. My parents weren't gardeners either. I remember 28 years ago moving to my very first parish. And I've been there about a year, maybe 18 months, when I was talking with a woman who was active in our church. And she maintained and cared for a stunning garden. She said to me, Neil, it is 20 years since we've had a minister who liked gardening. And I thought, you remember each minister and whether they like gardening or not. She'd noticed that I was not a gardener. Lynn, while not professing to be a keen gardener, likes to get out in the garden and make our garden look presentable. Even quite nice. And she does a great job with the garden. She's developed enough confidence to be able to prune a bush, uh, to prune the rose bushes as well. And uh, she keeps the place looking very, very presentable. As Lynn and I walk each day, We've, at this time of the year, we're also seeing plenty of lemon and mandarin trees with their fruit. Um, and we see that in people's yards. Lynn notices because she eats some lemon for breakfast every day, so she notices these lemon trees. We've agreed that we will have a lemon tree in our retirement garden. The colours of spring might give our spirits a lift as we continue this journey through lockdown. And now, now the end of lockdown in Melbourne is only days away. It would not be a complete freedom, but a first step out of lockdown. For some, lockdown has been a tough journey. Some people's mental health has suffered as they've been cut off from family, friends, school, work or their support network. Some people have simply struggled with boredom and isolation. Some have put on weight as they've been out of routine. I heard of someone who just, who's put on a fair amount of weight during lockdown and now they are too embarrassed to contemplate going back to work in the, in the office. It's certainly been a tough time for some. And others, on the other hand, they've sailed through and gotten through this whole time of lockdown and restrictions quite well. Now, I think it's important to be mindful as we re-emerge from hibernation to think about how we react to people. We may have been interacting online. It, may be, it might be important how we respond to those who have struggled through this time. It will be important for us to be understanding and compassionate and to have patience. Some of our friends may not be confident to emerge straight away, and that is quite understandable. And there's currently quite a bit of the COVID infection in the community at the moment. About 2,000 new infections each day. People will understandably be hesitant. In terms of interacting with others, I found myself thinking about the fruits of the Spirit. You might know them off by heart. The fruits of the Spirit are found in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is joy, sorry, is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There's no law against such things. I like that at the end. There is no law 
against such things. These fruits, these character traits can be nurtured and encouraged in our lives through the work of the Holy Spirit, through God's Spirit. God's Spirit at work in us, in our hearts and in our minds. The fruits, fruits of love, patience, kindness, gentleness and self-control, haven't named them all, but those ones are all good for helping us in our relationship to others and with others. The fruits named help us to be people that others like being around, that others may be willing to open up to and to share with. The fruits that I picked out help us to be good listeners and to be good friends. All of these fruits help us to be more like Christ. I wonder if you and I feel that some of these fruits are missing in our lives. And I wonder if there's one particular fruit, a fruit that you might pray, Lord, help me to grow this particular fruit in my life. I wonder what that fruit would be. Maybe help me to be more patient or to better be better at maintaining self-control. Some of these fruits seem to come naturally to us and others we feel they are just plain hard work and we need to work at them. The Lord, the Lord being our helper. These fruits also help us in our family relationships and our relationships with neighbours and good friends. In lockdown, we've needed the fruits of patience and peace. Getting upset and frustrated does not help us. Lord, quieten our hearts. Help us to be patient. Help us to know your peace, a deep peace that is beyond our understanding. And Lord, thank you for your wonderful gifts of the fruits of the Spirit. So let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for these verses in Galatians that remind us of the fruits of the Spirit. Your Spirit that helps grow these fruits in our lives the fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Lord, where we're a bit down in some of these fruits, help us to grow those fruits, to nurture those fruits in our lives. May your Spirit help us, encourage us, enable us, and empower us. We thank you for these fruits. We thank you for how we see them in other people's lives. And we thank you for how they are in our own lives. Help us to be your faithful disciples. Help us to be your faithful servants. Help us to live more Christ-like lives. Through Christ we pray. Amen. Thank you for once more for joining me for this time of reflection. I'm really glad that you're there to uh, share this time with me. May God bless you each and every day. Amen.